Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Pete Dash and welcome to 5 Things You Probably Didn't Know About Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC. Before we get into our list, if you learned one new thing throughout this, make sure to like up the video, check out last week's episode, 5 Things You Still Don't Know About GTA 5, subscribe to BCC Trolling, as well as check out my own channel for plenty of funny Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC videos. Links are in the description. Starting off with number 1. This is a weird one and is most likely some sort of bug that will be patched rather soon, but you should use this while you can. Did you know on the map Skyjack that you can actually escort a robot in safeguard even though you're not on the same level and are separated by a floor? Well you can, if you take note of the safeguard robot's location and stand as close as you can to it, it will start escorting the robot for you. Technology sure is amazing in the future. Here's a tip for you in the new zombie map, the Rizendra. Everyone knows how annoying a Panzer Soldat is to deal with, but did you know that you can actually stun a Panzer for a short time by charging an arrow and releasing it to explode on him? After it explodes, he will let off a scream and stop moving. This works for both an unupgraded and upgraded bow. You can thank me later. Making a splash into number 3, here are some visual easter eggs on the map splash. See what I did there? If you look closely on a shield on the map, you can see the dragon logo from the zombies map to Eisendrak. It looks extremely similar to the one seen in the trailer. Oh, and here's a bonus. There's a sign that says no selfies. It's rather funny. Here is a random easter egg on the Eisendrak that I wonder what the person who discovered it was thinking. If you ever have a ray gun on hand, head into this room, look up at the planetary display, shoot the big planet with the ray gun repeatedly, until the room starts glowing. Once complete, the room will turn into a disco and you can enjoy your party with the zombies. And lastly, the Ragnarok is the new buildable power weapon in the new zombies map. In case you don't already know how to upgrade it, don't worry, I got you. All you need to do is gather three parts in any order. The location for these three parts are as follows. One of the parts drop from simply killing the Panzer Soldat. The second part drops from activating the Death Ray Trap. Before the trap finishes, the part will spawn in the above Wonder Sphere. Obviously you can't jump and grab it, so you have to walk down these stairs and use a Wonder Sphere which will launch you into the path of the part, allowing you to pick it up. The third part drops from a challenge down at the Rocket Test Launch Pad. When Maxis starts his countdown, you need to head to this little lever, hold to activate, then hold to activate again. After that, run to the teleporter room to this panel, Hold off and wait for all three lights to turn green. Once it has, hold to activate the panel and the part should spawn in the teleporter behind you. Simply take it to a building table, hold to build and enjoy. Then go slam down some zombies. And that wraps it up for today. Again, if you enjoyed the video and learned something new, make sure to hit that like button, check out last week's episode, subscribe to myself and check out my funny Black Ops 3 videos, as well as subscribe to BCC Trolling. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.